So I want to thank you guys for being here, um, for donating. And it doesn't matter how much you donate, just that in some way we, we reach out to people in need. Um, and this particular, um, this particular topic is, I think, close to all of our hearts because we all practice yoga and um, this, these are the roots where it's come from, the land where it has originated. I, I also just wanna talk about reaching out in general <laughs> and that reaching out is not always something that we, we do financially. And sometimes more importantly, it's just giving a friend a call. So in our practice, often we set intentions um, sometimes for ourselves and that's so beautiful and it's really important. And it's also equally as powerful and beautiful, immensely powerful when we make it not about ourselves, when we make it about other people or uh, other creatures, um, nature, any, any being out there. So today in our practice, that's what we'll do. We'll practice for, for others, for creation. <laughs> so we're gonna hit play together and get right into practice. And let's go to our mats. Come onto your hands and your knees, and then walk your hands really far forward. We're gonna come into Anahatasana, which when I do this pose, I'm, I'm thinking about connecting my heart to the earth. And when I breathe in this pose, I'm thinking about breathing my connection to the earth deeper. And also thinking about the nurturing effects of the earth. So allowing my body, my mind to be connected and grounded and, and nurtured. See if you can find like a, a surrendering of your, the back of your heart to the earth. Imagine that there's a hot stone on the back of your heart and it's like melting through to the front of your heart and assisting to really drip your heart down into the earth. And with every exhale, let there be a, a let go. And with every inhale, let there be like a, a filling up, like a drinking in. And here in this position, if you feel moved to do so, decide who or, or what you want to give your practice away to or dedicate your practice to. And let that dedication really plant into the earth. Press through your hands and begin to come up onto your hands and your knees. And we're gonna do a few undulations through the spine. So start by tucking your toes and stick your butt up towards the sky and then glide your hips towards your heels. 
reach your heart towards your hands. On your next inhale, curl your pubic bone towards your navel and slowly round forward, hands and knees. And as you exhale, tilt your sit bones up, melt your belly and your heart down and forward as you glide your butt back towards your heels. As you inhale, imagine the inhale washing up through your spine from your pelvic floor as you round forward. And as you exhale, tilt your sit bones up, glide back, keep your pelvic floor lifted. Inhale to round forward. And exhale to glide back. Make your primary focus right now your breath. And imagine that your intention, your dedication is expressed in movement. So it's like your movement becomes the expression of that prayer that you made. Next inhale, round forward, untuck your toes, and then come onto your belly. Press down through your toenails, squeeze your thighs, engage through your butt, and then lift your hands up and lift your heart up. So we're just gonna take a few breaths here in this position to create some heat in the back body. Now every inhale, see if you can lift up into the heat and every exhale, lower just a little bit. Take one more inhale and lift up, up, up. Exhale, plant your hands, tuck your toes and glide back to this active child's pose, your butt towards your heels. As you inhale, round forward, hands and knees. And this time as you exhale, glide back into down dog. Take it easy here. <laughs> Just like let it be an initial little massage. Massage your awareness through any parts of your body that are unfurling and talking to you. Let it be kind of like exploratory and playful. Let your body talk in the form of movement. And when you feel ready to, to steady here, claw with your fingertips, pull your hands towards one another, then press your hands down and forward, glide your hips back and up and Align your ears with your upper arms. Activate your feet, spread your toes. Press your big toes down and your pinky toes and keep a micro bend through your knees. Swell the back of your heart a little bit to draw your low ribs in and then tilt your sit bones towards the sky. And press your hands and feet away from one another. Like you're gonna stretch your mat. And just as we breathed our hearts into the earth, now really breathe from your heart out through your extremities into the earth. And remember your, your dedication. And remember your, your body as a physical expression of that. On your next inhale, lift your heels and ripple forward into a rounded high plank. And as you exhale, micro bend your knees and elbows and ripple back into down dog by tilting your sit bones up, melting your belly and your heart and turning your gaze forward at the end of that. Then inhale, lift your heels, squeeze your thighs, round forward, high plank. And as you exhale, ripple back into down dog with your gaze forward. Okay, just a few more of these. Inhale, round forward. And exhale to ripple back. Primary focus on breath and the expression of your body. So just allowing your body to express your dedication, your prayer. Now 
Next time you inhale forward, stay forward. And as you exhale, pivot both heels towards the right. Keep your right heel lifted, but lower your left heel to the floor. Draw your outer left hip back. Press both hands down and forward and squeeze your right side body. Then root down more firmly through the knife edge of your left foot as you draw your outer left hip back. And then you might feel, you should feel a little, or maybe not little, <laughs> stretch through your left side waist into your outer left hip. And just allow your body to slowly, slowly unfurl, little bit by little bit. As you inhale, ripple forward, round forward, rounded high plank again, squeeze through your core and your legs. And as you exhale, pivot both heels towards the left. Keep your left heel lifted and root your right heel down. Press your hands down and forward. Draw your outer right hip back as you squeeze your left side. Keep your heart stretching forward to the top of your mat. On your next inhale, round forward, rounded high plank. And as you exhale, this time lower your knees to the floor. Slowly keep your core engaged. Inhale, arc your spine. Exhale, glide your hips towards your heels. As you inhale, round forward, untuck your toes. And as you exhale, unfurl onto your belly. Inhale, lift your hands, lift your heart. This time also lift your legs. Squeeze through the fronts of your thighs and inner thighs and spread your toes. Take one more inhale and grow longer to lift higher. Exhale, plant your hands, tuck your toes, glide back active, child's pose. As you inhale, round forward hands and knees. And as you exhale, glide into down dog. Inhale, round forward, high plank. Exhale, pivot both heels towards the right. Lower your left heel down, keep your right heel lifted. Press your hands forward, pull your left hip back and reach your gaze forward. Inhale, round forward, high plank. Exhale, pivot both heels towards the left. Press your right heel down and keep your left heel lifted. Press your hands forward, reach your heart forward and draw your right hip back. Inhale, round forward, high plank. And as you exhale, lower your knees. Inhale, arc your spine. Exhale, glide your hips towards your heels. Inhale, round forward through hands and knees. And exhale, untuck your toes, come onto your belly. Inhale, lift your legs, lift your hands, lift your heart, squeeze your whole back body. Exhale, plant your hands, tuck your toes, glide back active child's pose. As you inhale, round forward, hands and knees. And as you exhale, glide to down dog. Inhale, reach your right leg high, lift it from the inner thigh and spread your toes. Exhale, round forward and touch your right knee to your nose if you can. Lift your gaze towards your right inner thumb and then step your right foot there. Take your left knee to the earth and as you inhale, rise to a low lunge. As you exhale, flex your right foot, glide your pelvis back, but keep your right knee bent by magnetizing your feet towards one another. Reach your fingertips back. Claw the air with your fingertips and squeeze your biceps and then curl your heart forward as you stick your butt back. On your next inhale, step into your right foot, lift your left knee, come into a high lunge. As you exhale, place your hands round your spine, pick your right foot up and step to down dog. Inhale, reach your left leg high, lift it from the inner thigh, spread your toes. Exhale, round forward and touch your left knee to your nose. Lift your gaze to your left inner thumb and then step lightly, if you can, your left foot there. Sink your right knee and inhale, rise up to low lunge. As you exhale, flex your left foot, glide your pelvis back, 
reach your fingertips back and curl your heart forward. And feel here the activation of your back body. On your next inhale, step into your left foot, lift your right knee and rise to high lunge. Exhale, place your hands, round your spine, pick your left foot up and step to down dog. Take a few deep enriching breaths here, breathing your heart <laughs> deeper into the earth through your extremities. Like literally like burrowing beyond the mat, beyond the floor, beyond what's, whatever is beneath you right now and into the earth. See if you can tune in a little bit to the circulation of your dedication. On the conduit of the breath through your body. Inhale, round forward, high plank. Exhale, pivot both heels to the right, lower your left heel, stick your butt back, reach your heart forward. Inhale, round forward, high plank, squeeze your leg. Exhale, heels to the left, lower your right heel, stick your butt back and heart forward. Inhale, round forward, high plank. And as you exhale, lower your knees. Inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, glide your hips towards your heels. As you inhale, round forward, untuck your toes. And as you exhale, unfurl your belly to the floor. Lift your legs as you inhale, spread your toes and lift your heart, lift your hands, squeeze your whole back body. Flex your feet, tuck your toes, press your hands into the floor and stretch your arms straight. So now your thighs are lifted, you're in an upward dog shape, but with your toes tucked. Claw with your fingertips, hug your shoulder blades to the midline and then curl your heart forward and up as you squeeze your legs. Point your right toes back. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press into the earth and glide to three-legged down dog, right leg high. Big breath in here. As you breathe out, round forward and step your right foot to your right thumb, sink your left knee. Inhale, rise to low lunge. Exhale, glide your pelvis back, stretch your fingertips back, curl your heart forward and bow. As you inhale, rise to high lunge. Exhale, hands down, round your spine. Pick your right foot up and step to down dog. Ripple forward, high plank, inhale. Exhale, lower your knees. Inhale, arc your spine. Exhale, glide your bum towards your heels. Inhale, round forward, untuck your toes. And exhale, come onto your belly. As you inhale, lift your hands, lift your legs, lift your heart. Exhale, flex your feet, tuck your toes, press your hands into the earth and stretch your arms straight. Okay, reach back through your heels, pull up through the fronts of your thighs, hug your shoulder blades to the midline and squeeze in at your waist. Point your left toes back, take a deep inhale, press the exhale into the earth as you glide to three-legged down dog, left leg high. Now take an inhale here and stretch beyond your fingertips and toes. And as you exhale, round forward and step your left foot to your left thumb. Sink your right knee and let the inhale bring you up into a low lunge. Exhale to glide back and bow. Inhale, rise to high lunge. Exhale, plant your hands round your spine. Press into the earth, pick your left foot up and step to down dog. And once again, pause here. Pause here to assimilate, to plug in even deeper to your dedication and to the earth.
And any more little things that arise in your practice, like maybe you have more um, teachers come to mind or people come to mind to dedicate to or to give gratitude to, or that you want to reach out to. <laughs> so take note of all these little insights that arrive. On your next inhale, lift your heels and ripple forward high plank. As you exhale, pivot both heels towards the right, press your left heel down, stick your butt back, curl your heart forward. Now shift more weight into your right hand and cactus your left arm. Press through the knife edge of your left foot and bend your right knee so your heel comes towards your butt. Then reach your left arm over your ear and stay here or stretch your right leg to the left so it's parallel to the ground. So we're working the right inner thigh. Press your right hand down and forward, squeeze your right side and stretch through your left fingertips as you root the knife edge of your left foot. Bend your right knee, place your left hand down and come back to down dog. Inhale, round forward, high plank. Exhale, pivot both heels to the left. Press your right heel down, get it really planted. Press your hands down and forward and draw your outer right hip back. Shift more weight now into your left hand and cactus your right arm. Press your left hand down and forward. Squeeze your left side and bend your left knee. Then as you reach your right arm over your ear, stay here or stretch your left leg straight to the right, parallel to the ground. Parallelish. Okay, squeeze, press, lengthen, bend your left knee, right hand down and come back to down dog. Let the breath wash all that through to fully digest and process and assimilate. On your next inhale, round forward high plank. Exhale, keep squeezing through your core as you slowly lower your knees. Inhale, arc your spine. Exhale, glide back your hips towards your heels. Keep your toes tucked. Inhale, round forward high plank. And as you exhale, unfurl into the upward dog position. So lift your knees, thighs are lifted, press through your hands squeeze through your triceps and hug your shoulder blades to the midline. Point your right toes back and take an inhale. Press the exhale into the earth to glide to three-legged down dog with your right leg high. And take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, bring your right knee towards your left tricep about halfway. Then pivot your left heel to the floor. Press through your right hand, reach your left arm over your ear and stretch your right leg to the left. Bring your left hand to the floor and come back to down dog. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank. Exhale, squeeze through your core as you lower your knees. Inhale to arc your spine, big inhale. Exhale to glide your hips towards your heels. Inhale, round forward, keep your toes tucked. Exhale, keep your pubic bone lifting towards your navel. As you unfurl into up dog, lift your knees. Squeeze the midline with your shoulder blades. Point your left toes back and take a deep inhale. Exhale into the earth as you glide to three-legged down dog. And take an inhale here and let the inhale grow you longer. Exhale, round forward and bring your left knee halfway towards your right tricep. Then pivot your right heel to the floor and really anchor the knife edge of your right foot down. Shift the weight into your left hand, cactus your right arm. And as you stretch your right arm over your ear, stretch your left leg towards the right, parallel to the ground. Turn your left ribs towards your right ribs to open your heart a little bit more towards the side. Good, bend your left knee, right hand down and come to down dog. Plant into the earth and reconnect to 
to your meaning. And so sometimes reaching out is not also like a verbal or like a phone call or like a text. Sometimes it's, it comes from inside of us and we can be completely silent and we can reach out to people from afar. So reach out by planting your heart into the earth and see if you can find connection to other, others that way. As you inhale, lift your heels and round forward. As you exhale, slowly lower your knees. <laughs> the slower you go, the better. <laughs> inhale, arc your spine. Exhale, glide your bum towards your heels. Inhale, round forward, hands and knees, keep your toes tucked. Exhale, unfurl, up dog, knees lift. Inhale, point your right toes back, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, glide to three-legged down dog. Deep inhale here. Exhale, right knee towards your left tricep. Shift the weight into your right hand as you pivot the left heel down. Reach your left arm over your ear and stretch your right leg to the left parallel to the ground. This time, place your left hand to the floor. Bend your right knee and we're gonna pivot to the knife edge of your left foot. Keep your left knee bent and try to root your left big toe to the floor. As you inhale, reach your right arm high and your right knee high. Spread your toes, spread your fingers. Gaze to the top of your mat and as you exhale, step your right foot up to the top. Sink your left knee to the floor and inhale, rise, low lunge. As you exhale, glide back and bow. Inhale, rise to high lunge. And as you exhale, plant your hands into the earth and step to down dog. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank. And as you exhale, slowly lower your knees. It might take more than one exhale. <laughs> Inhale to arc your spine. Exhale, glide your bum back. Keep your toes tucked, inhale, round forward. Exhale, unfurl, up dog. Inhale, point your left toes back. Exhale, glide to three-legged down dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, left knee halfway to right tricep. Pivot your right heel to the floor. Reach your right arm up and over your ear. Stretch your left leg straight if you can or don't. And squeeze your left side body to open your right side. Bend your left knee, place your right hand to the floor. And then lift your right heel and pivot to the knife edge of your right foot. Bend your right knee and root your right big toe if you can so that you're stepping into your right foot. Reach your left arm high, reach your left knee high, spread your toes, spread your fingers and press into the earth. Gaze to the top of your mat and step your left foot up. Sink your right knee and inhale, rise to the lunge. As you exhale, glide back, curl your heart forward and bow. As you inhale, press through your feet, rise to high lunge. Squeeze through your waist to curl your heart higher. Exhale, plant your hands, round your spine and step to down dog. Coming home to down dog root into the earth, root your breath into the earth, root your awareness into the earth. And your, your, your prayer, your dedication, whatever it is. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank. Exhale, lower your knees. Inhale, arc your spine. This time a little different. As you exhale, glide your bum towards your heels. Lift the heels of your hands so you're on your fingertips. 
then curl your pubic bone towards your navel. So you're, you're engaging your front body, rounding through your lower back. Keep your core really strong here as you glide your fingertips back in front of your knees. Okay, now press down through your knees and your toes. Keep your pubic bone lifting, press your pelvis forward and come to stand onto your knees. As you inhale, squeeze your waist and reach your arms up, hands in prayer. As you exhale, bring the heels of your hands to the base of your skull. Now press the back of your head into the heels of your hands until you feel the back of your neck and your upper back engage. Then pull in at your waist again, puff your chest up towards your chin. And as you press your skull into your hands, tuck your chin a little bit. Imagine your heart is a fountain and it rises higher from our roots. So press into the earth, squeeze your inner thighs, lift your pelvic floor, hugging up your waist and let the fountain of your heart lift a little bit higher. Now place your, the heels of your hands onto your lower back with your fingertips pointing down or up. Hug your upper arms towards each other. So your shoulder blades hug to the midline. Then lift your pubic bone up towards your navel by engaging your butt. Squeeze your waist, curl your heart up. Now try to create like a slingshot action. Coming from the heels of your hands, pressing to your sacrum, your sacrum pressing to your hands. And from there, try to furl your heart up more, 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 more. Untuck your toes and sit your bum to your heels. Just for a moment, place your hands onto your thighs with your palms facing up. And take a moment just to, just to simmer. So feel sensations, feel Breath, notice any emotions moving, any thought formations, the whole concoction of all of the different aspects. And here, see if you can be, be like the sky. I know it sounds cheesy, but <laughs> with, with all the different creatures and insects, birds, the trees reaching into the sky. There's all these different aspects that the sky holds, holds space for, gives life to. And so all these different aspects that arise in you, see if you can be like the sky for them. You're holding space. And allowing. Let the breeze of your breath wash things through. On your next inhale, reach your arms up. Now as you exhale, keep your waist hugging in as you glide your torso forward and place your hands to the floor. Then slide your hands about another hand's distance forward. Lift your pelvic floor and round forward, hands and knees on an inhale. As you exhale, tuck your toes and glide to down dog. Inhale, round forward, high plank. Exhale, lower your knees. Inhale, arc your spine. And exhale, glide your bum towards your heels. Keep your toes tucked and inhale, round forward, hands and knees. And as you exhale, unfurl up dog, toes tucked. Inhale to point your right toes back. Exhale, glide to three-legged down dog. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, round forward and bring your right knee towards your left tricep as you shift the weight into your right hand. Sink your left heel to the floor. Inhale to open it up. Left arm over your ear. Stretch your right leg to the left parallel to the ground. Reach and press into the earth. Exhale, plant your left hand. Bend your right knee. Lift your left heel and pivot to the knife edge of your left foot. When you get there, bend your left knee, root your left big toe. Reach your right arm up and step your right toes to the floor behind you. Make sure that your left shoulder is not directly over the wrist. There's a bit of an angle there. Claw with your left fingertips. Bring your right hand behind the back of your head. 
Press both big toes into the floor and begin to lift your pelvis by engaging through your butt. Cinch your waist, so squeeze at your waist and curl your heart forward. Now go easy rather than full blast, kind of like exploratory, like that first down dog. And again, come and connect to the expression of your body, to how your body expresses meaning and dedication and prayer. Reach your right arm up, press into your left foot, reach your right knee up and step to the top. Sink your left knee to the floor. And this time stay here. <laughs> step your left fingertips off the mat to the left and reach your right arm up. Magnetize your feet towards one another and stay here or bend your left knee. Reach back with your right hand and take hold of the foot. Again, go easy. So let your body little bit by little bit unfurl. Now lift your pubic bone towards your navel. It might feel more intense. <laughs> it likely will. <laughs> and then begin to draw your heel more towards your butt. And it doesn't have to go to your butt. Keep lifting your pubic bone up. Now with your pubic bone lifted, hug in at your waist and curl your heart up, hug your shoulder blades together and begin to let your heart expand. Notice if your jaw is a little bit like, uh, soften. Release your back foot slowly and bring both hands to the floor. Lift your left knee around your spine and step to down dog. Inhale, round forward, high plank. Exhale, lower your knees, so slow. As you inhale, arc your spine. Exhale, glide your bum back. Inhale, round forward. And exhale, unfurl into upward facing dog, toes tucked. Inhale, point your left toes back. Exhale, glide to three-legged down dog. Breathe in to reach deeper to the earth and to the sky. Breathe out to round forward, bring your left knee towards your right tricep, pivot your left heel down. Inhale, open it up, reach your right arm over your ear and stretch your left leg to the right, squeeze your left side open, big, big body, <laughs> side body opener. Bend your left knee, right hand down. Lift your right heel and roll to the knife edge of your right foot. Bend your right knee, root your right big toe. Reach your left arm up and step your left toes behind you. Make sure your right shoulder is not directly over the wrist. Glide back a bit so you bend your knees to do that. Bring your left hand behind the back of your head. Then lift your pubic bone a little towards your navel. Activate through your butt and begin to lift your pelvis up. Root through both big toes, squeeze your waist and curl your heart, but support the back of your head with your hand. Press your head into your hand and your hand into your head and see if this can assist you to curl the back of your heart a little bit more. Now pivot so that you gaze to the top of your mat, lift your left knee up and step up to the top. And stay here. <laughs> Step your right fingertips off your mat to the right. And then reach your left arm up. Then magnetize your feet towards one another. Now stay here or bend your right knee, reach back with your left hand and place it on the top of your foot. Take a few breaths into every little phase every little stage that you're experiencing. Now lift your pubic bone towards your navel and draw your heel perhaps a little bit more in towards your bum. Flex your right toes back into your hand and then squeeze at your waist. Hug your shoulder blades to the midline and curl or slingshot your heart up. 
Now follow your, your gaze, your eye direction in the same direction as your heart. Slowly release your foot, tuck your toes, place your hands. Lift your right knee up, round your spine, pick your left foot up and step to down dog. Inhale, round forward, high plank, squeeze your front body. Exhale, keep squeezing your front body and lower your knees. Inhale, arc your spine, arc and elongate. Exhale, as you glide your hips towards your heels, begin to draw your pubic bone towards your navel and glide your fingertips back in front of your knees. Keep your butt squeezing forward and inhale, rise to stand onto your knees. Exhale, place your hands onto your lower back. Hug your arm bones and elbows towards the midline. And if you want here, you can untuck your toes. Lift your pubic bone up, squeeze your waist. Press your hands to your sacrum and your sacrum to your hands and then curl or slingshot your heart up. Activate your butt here, press your pelvis a little more forward. Then to balance the forward movement of your pelvis, squeeze your waist and lift your heart. Now here, feel the power of your back body. Really activate your back and lift, lift, lift. Now keep one hand on beyond to your lower back and bring one hand onto the back of your head. Press your hand to head and head to hand. And then squeeze your waist, curl your heart and see if you can slingshot it a little bit more up. Place that hand on, back onto your lower back and switch. Press your head to your hand and your hand to your head. Squeeze your waist and lift your heart up. Place both hands onto your lower back. Squeeze your waist, curl your heart up, and then begin to stick your butt back and glide to sit onto your heels. Place your hands onto your thighs and close your eyes for a moment. Just simmering in whatever you are feeling. But in the spaciousness of it. On your next inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, core steady, come forward. Place your hands. Slide them a little forward. Keep sliding them forward. Come back into Anahatasana. You might have to walk your knees back a bit. Claw with your fingertips and literally drip your heart into the earth. So here, visualize somewhere where you, where you surrender. Maybe it's like when you get home and you like surrender into a cozy couch or something. But somewhere where you feel like so yummy and bring that that yummy surrender here like just just drop Let's take a couple more breaths to breathe your heart deeper into the earth Then slide your hands back and round forward, hands and knees on an inhale and come onto your belly as you exhale. Lift your hands and reach your arms straight. Turn your palms to face each other. Squeeze your shoulder blades and your arm bones to the center, to the midline. Spread your toes, lift your legs. Squeeze the fronts of your legs and curl your heart more forward and up. Then bend your knees at the same time in the same way if you can and reach at the same time in the same way, taking hold of both ankles at the same time. 
Now flex your feet and squeeze your inner thighs. Lift your pelvic floor, hug your waist. Take an inhale to fill your heart up like it's a balloon. And as you exhale, put the exhale in your shins, pressing back. As your shins press back, slingshot your heart forward. Now close your eyes here and, and give it away. So let the expression of your body be the, be the gift or be the dedication, be the prayer, be the gratitude. Slowly begin to bend your knees and come down. Bring your palms together and place the tips of your thumbs onto the center point between your eyebrows. Lift your head, place your hands beside your ribs. Inhale, curl your heart up into a cobra. And as you exhale, glide back. Active child's pose, tuck your toes. Inhale, round forward, hands and knees. And as you exhale, glide to down dog. Walk forward to the top of your mat. And take an inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, flex your feet so that you're on your heels and your toes are lifted. Turn your toes out and slowly squat down. From here, bring your bum to the floor. Step your feet forward. Place your hands onto your knees and as you inhale, widen your knees apart. Squeeze your waist and curl the back of your heart up. And as you exhale, go shh and round and shh really squeeze your front body. On your next, next inhale, pull in your knees, lift your heart, keep your legs parallel and reach your arms up. As you exhale, curl down for five, four, three, two, keep your shoulder blades lifted. We're gonna take little pulsations and go shh, 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 shh. See if you can sync with the breath so much, it's like the breath is doing it for you. <laughs> so all of your awareness goes breath focus. Whatever arises, just keep giving it away. For five, four, three, two, Curl all the way up, I tricked you. Hands and knees, knees apart, squeeze your waist, lift your heart, take a big breath in. Exhale round and go shh. Keep your legs parallel, inhale, lift up again. And exhale, curl all the way down. Slide your heels in so your heels are in front of your sit bones. Touch your heels with your fingertips. Activate your feet by spreading your toes and then rooting your big toes and your pinky toes. Lift your pubic bone towards your navel, squeeze through your bum and lift your pelvis. Walk your arm bones underneath you and interlace your fingers. Press your feet down and away from your shoulders to curl your heart towards your chin. Stay here or place your hands beside your ears. Press through your hands, come lightly to the crown of your head. Hug your forearms to the midline to stack your elbows over your wrists. Squeeze your waist, hug your shoulder blades to the midline, and then press into the earth to rise into Urdhva Janurasana. Claw through your fingertips and your toes. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. Then press your heels down and away from your hands. Hug your upper arm bones towards your thighs and engage your back body to curl your heart. 
Now keep rooting to the earth, breathing your connection and your dedication deeper. Keep reaching right through. Keep affirming your connection to the earth and the position or the expression based on your dedication to what you're giving or how you're reaching out. So when you need to come down, do so. Gazing to the ceiling, bend your knees and gently lower back down. Then bring your feet wide and lean your knees in on one another and open your arms wide to the sides with your palms up. And just simmer. So let everything simplify a little. By not really giving meaning to do anything at the moment. Let it be all very spacious. Whatever you're feeling, give it space to express. Let things run their course through your experience. Just notice the, the companion of your breath. Lift your heels up. Press your lower back a little bit towards the floor and then draw your knees in towards the sides of your ribs. Bring your shins up and place your hands to the fronts of your shins and hold firmly. Then press your sacrum into the floor, root the back of your head, lift the back of your heart away from the floor and then place the center point of your heart back down. Then spread your shoulder blades and the heads of your arm bones. Keep your sacrum pressing down, spread your toes and then pull to draw your knees towards the floor. Soften your belly and your face. Stretch your legs up and stretch your arms up. Soften through your hands and your, and your feet and your ankles and your wrists so your hands can kind of droop or drape. Okay, now give your hands and your feet a good shake, like you're shaking out a rug. Get all the little dust particles out. Shake, 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 vigorously. <laughs> keep shaking, keep shaking, keep shaking and stop and feel. Take a deep inhale through your nose and go <sighs> like a sigh, like nobody's listening. Let's do that again. We're gonna shake first. Shake, shake, shake. Harder, faster, harder, faster. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And stop. Then take a deep inhale breath. Big sigh. <sighs> Hug your knees in towards your forehead and your forehead in towards your knees. Give yourself a hug, like a real one.
and then slowly come into Shavasana. Legs wide, toes to the side, arms wide. Make sure the back of your heart gets firmly rooted into the earth. Just let everything again get really simple. The big let go. Notice any areas in your body, like you feel like new connection points to the earth. New connection points to the sky and new connection points to the, to the beings that you are reaching to, reaching out to, supporting with your presence, with your prayers, with your actions, with your words. And now also feel all the support coming right back at you. And I'll, I'll wake you up in a little bit so you can just let go. Begin to become aware, feeling any warm 
tingly, glowy feelings in your body. And if you want to rest longer, then just stay as you are. If you're ready to move, then just bring some tiny little movements to your fingers and your toes to gradually wake up. And then take a big stretch, reach your arms over your head and stretch your toes away from your fingers and induce a big inhale. And when you exhale again, just drop everything. Roll to your side and begin to make your way to your seat. When you get to your seat, build it so it's spacious. And bring your palms together in front of your heart. And lift your heart up a little towards your brain and then humble your brain a little towards your heart. And here, sink in a little to the pathway of your guidance in this practice. So we don't always know where all of our teachers came from in, this, in these times, but still go along the pathway of all of your teachers, your teachers and your teacher's teachers. And even if you don't know who they are, where they came from and their teachers, like a whole long, beautiful lineage. And see if you can follow that lineage for yourself all the way back, all the way back to the source, to the beginning, to the first teacher in human form or non-human form. And just to give some acknowledgement, gratitude, appreciation, and recognition. And then release your hands and open your eyes. And thank you for, for practicing this morning or this evening or whatever it is for you. I hope that you had a nice time <laughs> and you feel yummy. <laughs> um, there's another one happening today at two. If you feel like coming along for another ride, it'll be a different adventure. We never know what's gonna happen, never. <laughs> um, so thank you guys. And thank you again for your donations and um, even if uh, somebody couldn't make this class or you have any friends who might feel moved to donate, that would be super. I'll be doing more donation classes also in the future. Um, so stay tuned for those. And yeah, thank you guys. <laughs>